Producers, the future of Autotune is here. Check it out. Late night drive when I'm thinking about you. Uh, skylight in the rear view. Every green light, kitchen deja vu. Late night drive when I'm thinking about you. Now, this isn't just another update, it's actually an entire rebuild. Some longtime Autotune users might recognize some of these. Man, we've been in the trenches with the UX, but Autotune 2026 finally brings that clean, modern interface that we've all been waiting for. It's never been easier to use and navigate. Now, my favorite part of the new interface is the manual note selection visual. In older versions of Autotune, we had to do the little menu dive and we had to use this piano roll was always a little bit tricky for me to figure out, but it's never been clear or more simple to select which notes you want to include in your scale when there's accidentals. Now, my other new favorite part of the interface is the visual representation of Flextune, which controls the maximum amount of correction that's applied by Autotune. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've been using Autotune for eight years with Flextune, and I know what it sounds like, but I never actually knew what it was doing until I had the visual representation, which is crazy. Now, all the menus are cleaner, Everything's just easier to use. It's an upgrade in every single way visually. But besides just the obvious visual upgrades, the performance also got a huge boost. Autotune 2026 is 130% more CPU efficient. It's also optimized for low latency, real-time tracking, and it's been designed from the ground up to be optimized for Apple Silicon and modern CPUs. This is the future of Autotune, and I'm so excited. You can check out Autotune 2026 in the Autotune Unlimited subscription or as a standalone plugin. Check it out today. You're going to love it.